Are you seeing this error on your Coinly Wallets page? Today we'll talk about what it means and how to fix it. Hello, my name is Nelly and welcome back to another video. Today we're talking about this specific mismatch I issue that you might potentially see, what it means, what the implications are, and how to resolve it. Okay, so for auto-sync wallets, Coinly carries out a comparison of your balances on Coinly against the balances on your exchange. Coinly will display two balances, a calculated balance and a reported balance. So a reported balance is the amount that the API says you have in your wallet. The calculated balance is the amount Coinly has worked out um, you have in your wallet. So if the reported balance is correct, but the calculated balance is wrong, then something is missing from your imported data. So we have an entire document where you can look at what potential transactions might, might be missing. This could be, you know, maybe you forgot to add a wallet or maybe when you imported some data, um, the API didn't cover specific transactions, so you have to find another way to get that data into Coinly. And I will leave this article called Some Transactions Missing down below for you to review and look over. It's a little bit um, out of the scope of this video. This will be probably an entire separate video, so I will leave it um, in the description and the comments down below. Okay, if your calculated balance is correct, but your reported balance is wrong, you can choose to ignore this, um, ignore reported balances in the wallet settings. So I've also left another article on how to ignore reported. Uh, once again, it's a little bit out of the scope of this video. There's a few different steps here. Um, very straightforward stuff. Um, maybe I'll make an entire short form separate video on this as well. But for now, I will leave it in the comments and description down below. Okay, so maybe the question is, why does the balance on Coinly not match my actual balance? The balances on Coinly are calculated using the imported transactions. So um, unless some transactions are missing on Coinly, the balance should always match what you have on your exchange. So this is a great way to determine whether or not all your transactions have been imported correctly. So if an issue is found, you will notice a yellow circle with a white exclamation point inside of it. Um, little warning next to the wallet um, like I'm showing you on screen right now. So clicking on this warning icon, uh, you will see the difference between Coinly's balance and the balance reported by the exchange. So the difference equals Coinly's balance minus the API balance. Okay, if the difference is positive, it means the balance on Coinly is higher than your actual balance. This could mean that a withdrawal or a sell-off of a coin is missing. A negative balance, on the other hand, means the opposite, perhaps a deposit or a purchase is missing. And we like to point out if the differences are quite small, for example, 0 0.001, uh, difference, then you can actually usually ignore them as they are caused by rounding errors, which can happen from time to time. Larger differences, however, may require some more attention. The next natural question might be, well, why are there balance mismatches? Well, Coinly calculates the balances for each of your coins from the transactions you have in that wallet. This means that if a transaction is missing, then the balance on Coinly will not match um, what you actually have on your exchange or wallet. And this could be for a number of reasons. One of those reasons could be a numerical rounding. So if you see a very small difference, like we said earlier of 0 0.00001, then you can just safely ignore these and it's a result of a rounding error. Sometimes it could be related to airdrops. So some airdrops like KuCoin uh, do not report your airdrops uh, via the API or in the CSV files potentially. So Coinly has no way of knowing about them. So they're just missing. So if you go on to sell the airdrop coins, uh, you will get a negative balance error because you have no balance in that coin. Next, we can talk about open orders. So Coinly ignores open orders slash trades until they are closed. So you might see a difference if your open order has uh, been partially fulfilled. In such cases, you can just wait until the order closes and then the balances should match again. And then lastly, the most common one is the missing transactions. If the differences between the balances are big, then it means some transactions have not been imported. And this is quite common and can usually be resolved by following the instructions for the wallet that you are adding. 
So for example, Binance does not return trades for delisted coins via their API. So you'd have to import these kinds of trades via the CSC file instead. Sometimes the only way to figure out the issue with missing transactions is to compare the imported transactions on Coinly one by one with the transactions on your exchange account. This may seem like a long process, but Coinly does have some tools built exactly for this job. Lastly, we can talk about the balance on Coinly is the same as an exchange, but the warning is still there. This warning is only updated after um, a sync has been completed, so it will disappear the next time the wallet is synced. So in most cases. Just note that for Ethereum wallets, you may continue to see this warning even after the resync. This usually happens for coins that have undergone a token or address swap. Just make sure your balance on Coinly is correct and ignore the warning if it is. Okay, if you've traded on other exchanges and wallets, which you probably have, you're gonna wanna repeat this simple process and connect them all. And luckily, Coinly integrates with over 800 platforms. And if you ever need a hand, we upload new integration videos weekly. So now with all your transactions imported into Coinly, we are able to view all your crypto transactions to accurately calculate your capital gains, losses, and income from crypto. This also includes DeFi's, airdrops, staking, etc. If you have done any staking or liquidity providing, then you may need to tag those transactions manually. And like I mentioned earlier, I will leave a link to our staking and liquidity videos down below and in the top right corner of this video. Okay, now you can head over to the Coinly Reports page and you can see how your year stacks up with a free summary showing your crypto totals for the year. The summary is awesome, but to officially file your taxes, you're gonna need a lot more detail. So now for the best part. Coinly produces a stack of cryptocurrency tax reports that cover your year's activity in great detail. This includes calculations and totals that line up with how the tax man wants it. We support over 1 million investors around the world with reports like the IRS Schedule D and Form 8949, plus a report for TurboTax, Tax Act, the UK, Australia, Canada, France, and a complete tax report for just about everyone else. Simply buy a plan from Coinly and download your report. You can file your taxes yourself, or if you work with an accountant, you can share it. Or you can even invite them to your account to Coinly. Lastly, check your country's rules and regulations because this report might be deductible. I will leave a bunch of resources down below if you need further assistance with our product. If you found this video helpful, consider dropping a like, subscribing for more crypto content. If you have any questions, you can leave them in the comments below or on our forum section where our users and Coinly support team are ready to jump in.